What's up folks, my name is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and today I have another stimulus update video for you. Today we are going to discuss some additional details regarding the new Heals Act bill that was introduced on Monday, yesterday. I spent a little more time last night digging and I wanted to share some additional information with you guys. But before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of it. I would appreciate it. Also, be sure to like this video as it really helps the channel grow as well as tells YouTube to share this video with other people. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. What's up guys and thanks for sticking around. So in researching more information regarding the new Heals Act that was released on Monday yesterday and it appears that the second big fat stimulus check of $1,200 has officially been confirmed. This is going to be available for the same group of people as the first big fat stimulus check was. So if you receive the first stimulus check, you can expect to receive the second stimulus check. As far as the eligibility requirements, they are using the same thresholds as the CARES Act back in March of 2020, which was if you are an individual making under $75,000 per year or as a couple making under $150,000 per year. So if you meet those salary thresholds, you are eligible to receive a big fat stimulus check on the second round of stimulus checks. Now, if you still have not filed your 2019 tax return, the income thresholds will be based off of your 2018 tax return. Now, there is a new twist to the round of stimulus checks for this second go round, and that is all dependents of all ages will receive a one-time $500 stimulus check. Now, in order for the dependent to qualify, the main person claiming them has to qualify as well. Now, notice that the last time during the first round of stimulus checks, only dependents under the age of 17 were eligible to receive the $500 uh, stimulus check. But this time it states dependents of all ages. So if you didn't qualify the last time and didn't receive anything, this new Heals Act does not mention anything about being retroactive. So don't expect uh, to receive back pay for the previous CARES Act that was authorized back in March. But yes, this time there are no age limits on the $500 stimulus checks for the dependents. And it also doesn't include information on as far as how many dependents. I believe on the CARES Act, they wanted that it could be up to three dependents. But on this Heals Act, they did not include on the amount of dependents. So we'll have to see on that information going forward. Now, for those of you who are on SSI, SSDI, or railroad retirement benefits, as well as any type of veterans affairs beneficiaries, those particularly are eligible for a second $1,200 big fat stimulus check. Those taxpayers should receive their payments automatically. The Treasury Department will be working directly with those specific benefits to authorize and make sure you receive your second big fat stimulus check. I know I have a lot of people that watch this channel and they've been asking me questions in relation to them being on SSI or SSDI and whether they will be receiving the next stimulus check. And it has been confirmed that you will be included in receiving the next big fat stimulus check as well. So that's definitely great news for you guys. And then for the unemployment benefits that are due to expire at the end of July. Previously from the CARES Act, those who were unemployed were receiving an additional $600 federal boost on top of the standard weekly pay. Well, that expires at the end of July in which most states have already stopped paying the additional $600 boost from the Federal Reserve. Well, it appears that the Heals Act drops it from $600 to $200 per week for everyone receiving unemployment pay. They are wanting this $200 boost to pick up where the $600 boost left off, which was expiring on July 31st. But since most states have already stopped paying that additional boost, this bill might become retroactive and replace those missing payments where the states have stopped paying them. So the $200 per week boost will go through the end of September. Then after that, the Fed is willing to step in and contribute a maximum of $500 
$500 per week. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because they want to offer everyone that's unemployed up to 70% of their previous employer pay or their salary pay. So that means that the state would be giving them $200 per week and the Fed would offer up to $500 per week. That total amount per week is not to exceed 70% of their previous salary wages. And that particular setup is only good through the month of October. So those are some additional details of the HEALS Act as we dig deeper into the proposed bill as it currently stands. Now keep in mind that this is the introduction to the HEALS Act, so it's more like the beginning stages from the Republicans' perspective. So things will obviously get better over time after the negotiations are in full throttle. Even Mitch McConnell reiterated today that that this is only the starting place. So I feel like they have a lot more to go as far as changes being made to the Heals Act once they get the negotiations with the Democrats as well as the Republicans and trying to get a overall bipartisan bill that is ready to be sent over to Mr. Trumpy to be signed and put into legislation. So yes, guys, this is very exciting and we look forward to see what's in store for us going forward and hope they can get these things done by the end of the month. And hopefully we can look forward to receiving the next or the second Big Fat Stimulus check in early August. But we'll keep our fingers crossed in the meantime. Well, that's it, guys. That's all I have for you today on the Stimulus Update News channel. If you enjoy these Stimulus Update News videos, definitely give this video a like as it definitely helps out the growth of this channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is a great time to click on the subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. Again, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.